We probably lost in total, you know, well over 150 instruments. Clarinets, cellos, guitars, trumpets, saxophones. Any instrument you can think of, we lost. The start of a piece is a bit of a calm before the storm. It's a really big challenge to translate something of that magnitude into music. I kind of use the piece as half a bit of a retelling, in a way, of the plots. And then the other half a bit of a tribute to everyone involved. So I used the different instruments of the orchestra, which is very large, to create a bit of a landscape to retell that story. Based on the predictions that were coming out at the time, we felt that moving everything to the first floor, we'd done a good job of preparing for what was to come. So I realised that things wouldn't be okay when I woke up on Monday morning. We'd have come up halfway up the windows on the first floor of the building. Where, where I'm sitting at the moment is the admin offices and it, it just, I mean, it looked like a giant had picked the building up and just given it a bit of a shake and things were just, you know, so topsy-turvy and you know, everything was upended. I don't think I'll fully ever be able to process it. I was helping there on the first day after the flood where we threw out hundreds and hundreds of instruments, including some of my own. So kind of having that end goal in mind of bringing everyone together with the new instruments and I guess bringing music back to the community kind of helped me in dealing with it. After the flood, I was so disappointed when I realised that my mate and guitar was covered in mud and water and broken. I said the three things was my cat and my dog and my guitar that I was hoping to rescue from the flood. So I've got the cat and the dog, and but not the guitar. I felt guilty that I hadn't rescued it. But I didn't realise the flood would be so huge and it wasn't supposed to come into the house. So there was a black one, wasn't there, as well? ReSound is a music instrument drive. What we do is we take donated instruments and we redistribute them to people who have lost instruments in natural disasters. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's OK. And hug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, take care. It's a big deal for people who have lost a lot. Um, often replacing a musical instrument is one of the last things on the list to be replaced because the immediate needs need to be met. You Thank you so much. Oh, that's okay. But for musicians who earn income from it or who um, play it every day, it's a big loss. It, it's, it's something normal that they were doing that they've lost. I can remember thinking in the first week about the loss, the loss not just of our musical instruments, but how much loss there would have been right across the community. So ReSound has, I think that they're up to, you know, over 200 instruments throughout the community and the Conservatorium has received donations of well over 200 instruments as well. To receive the guitar from ReSound, I was just stunned. I thought, 
wow, this is beautiful. It's a lovely guitar. And just to have this gift was just fabulous. Having the music there and the guitar, it's been like light coming on, you know, like a Christmas lights or something. I turn them on, get the guitar out, the lights come on. But then when I'm finished, then the lights go off. It really does mean so much to me to have my friends, my family and my colleagues at the conservatory and play it and also even people I don't know through ReSound um, to be playing this piece. I'm really excited to hear it and see what comes from it. For me, I think some of the greatest pieces of music have come out of really traumatic and tragic events. So. I think music really has the power to help people process trauma and go through a healing process. Mm -hmm.